I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. It seemed to be the gist of Mr Justice Deeney summing up in the Michael Stone trial last Friday. Stone's creative defence that forcing his way into Stormont with an improvised explosive device, seven nail bombs, three knives, a hatchet, a garrote and an imitation firearm was not, as it may have appeared, a murder attempt, but a very clever and thought-provoking piece of performance art. Just his bad luck then to come up against a Philistine like Judge Dinney, who conceded that while it was certainly a performance, it wasn't art, and convicted him of the attempted murder of Jerry Adams and Martin McGuinness. Stone could take a lesson or two in performance art from the Northern Ireland Secretary, Sean Woodward. Announcing the executive's decision to stop squabbling and get back to work, Mr Woodward stood up on Tuesday and with a perfectly straight face declared, This is an historic day for the people of Northern Ireland, and politics has triumphed once again. Which just goes to show that a good spin doctor with a fertile imagination and a gift for rhetoric can actually make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And by general agreement, a pig's ear is what Sinn Féin and the DUP have been making of running this place over the past five months. Since June, we've been treated to an early Christmas pantomime with a Stormont Players production of Alice in Wonderland. Having chased a white rabbit down a hole, Alice finds herself in a world caught in the grip of recession. With the financial sector imploding, the property market collapsing, big employers hemorrhaging jobs and small businesses going to the wall, the King and Deputy King of Hearts of this tiny fiefdom refuse to meet because they can't agree on when to discuss the devolution of policing and justice. I know it sounds too off the wall to work, but believe me, this one will run and run. Nothing so graphically illustrated the gulf that exists between the lives of government and people as the pensioners protest outside Stormont on Monday. The cross-party group of MLAs, clustered together for warmth on the Parliament steps, looked down at the elderly and orderly protesters with what appeared to be bemused embarrassment, as if having to decide between eating and heating was just too difficult a concept to grasp for a politician on 52000 a year plus expenses. And that means that the issues that really matter will just have to wait, while our politicians argue over the flying of flags and the devolution of policing and the promotion of the Irish language in Ulster Scots. So until we become comfortable with who we are, accept our diversity and decide to live together in peace, Stormont will continue to be as big an embarrassment to us as we are to ourselves. Good night.